Lymphatic systems help clear the body of extra fluids and infection, but when they don't work properly, deadly excess fluid is retained in the body. That was the case with a young boy whose family sought help at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Ursula Perry reports by testing various medications using tiny fish, doctors miraculously saved his life. 10-year-old Daniel was a healthy, active boy when his body began to swell up. A massive overgrowth of his lymphatic system was overwhelming his major organs. He had such an overgrowth of the vessels, lymphatic vessels, that he was leaking fluid into the pericardium, which is the membrane around the heart. His lungs suffered too, severely diminishing his oxygen. His lung capacity was shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, was down to 23%, which is, you know, barely Con compatible with life. Doctors discovered the genetic culprit with a blood test, a simple DNA cheek swab. The gene was out of control, meaning Daniel's lymph system was always in the on position, very similar to cancer cells growing out of control. So doctors began to test anti-cancer meds on tiny translucent zebra fish. The fish developed from like the cell to a normal animal in five days. We put this cancer medication into the into the fish so you basically, you can't, you know, give the fish a pill or, or, a, or an injection. You just put it into the water. One melanoma drug called Tramtinib stopped the mutation in its tracks. Doctors then gave that drug to Daniel. His lymphatic system essentially normalized. The child basically came off oxygen, started walking, started running, started biking, and he is essentially with, uh, with normal daily activities. A tiny fish and a very smart team of scientists scientists making a big impact. This is not the first time that we featured a story about pediatric cancer and zebrafish. In fact, two months ago, we featured a story about local research being done on this little animal. And here's why. Zebrafish contain 70% of human genes, which makes them a great animal for study. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.